I had someone suggest that those hard drives I pulled out of the cable box couldn't be used because of an oddball format and that they wouldn't format. Well, that's not exactly true and it's not hard to do it. Do it with Windows 7, very easy. I'll show you how to do it right now. Okay, due to popular demand, I'm going to show you how I format these old hard drives that come out of like the Motorola cable boxes because most of these drives, whether it's in a cable box or a satellite receiver, they generally have a non-standard format and the contents of the drive are generally encrypted. But it's fairly easy to reformat these drives so that they can be used on standard Windows computers or any computer for that matter. All you need is a docking station like this that accepts bare drives or one of those cables that a technician would use to recover a drive. They both work the same way. I like these ones. So you you uh, power it up, let the drive spin up. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, I'm going to left click on the start menu, and then I'm going to right click on computer. I'm going to left click on manage. Then I'm going to go up to disk management, double click on disk management. And I get a, a, a message here that says that I must initialize the disk before a logical disk manager can access it. So I'm just going to set this up as a master boot record. Click OK for disk number two, which is the, the new disk. And then go down to uh, disk number two and right click on it and click on new simple volume and then follow the directions. And now I can pick whether I want to format it as an NTSF or EXFAT, I always pick EXFAT for extended file location table. That way the drive is readable by both Windows and DOS and Macs and anything else I might want to plug into it. And it doesn't matter, I can give it a name. I'll call it the cable box. Cable box one. Next finish its formatting it is now done healthy primary partition formatted in extended fat that's one done and close this down time to do the next one I'll just power it off get the next drive in place same thing let the drive spin up Again, go down to the Start button down here, click left click, go to Computer, right click Computer, left click Manage, go to Disk Management, double click Disk Management. Again, it's going to find that Disk 2 needs to be uh, initialized. I click OK. I go down, right click on Disk number 2, which is the new one because these other ones here, this is my internal drive. My C drive, my D drive, and my E drive are my uh, internal drives. So I've got two hard drives in here. This one's partitioned into two. This is a separate um, drive, an external drive that I've got mounted in this machine. So then I go down and I can just right click, click on new simple volume, then click left click on next, again next, and next again, and this time I can call this one if I want to change it from NTSF or if I want to have it N NTFS or I can change it from NTFS to EXFAT it doesn't matter if I put this one as an NTFS drive we'll call it cable box just to be different and I can either pick quick format or if I want to check every sector I can go and turn off perform a quick format and then click next and now what will happen is it will format the drive and it's now going to check all of the sectors so this is going to take a little bit longer to do than the other one because it actually has to verify each sector on the drive to make sure that there's no errors if you're formatting a drive for the first time and it's one that's been heavily used it might not be a bad idea just to do a full format like this that way each sector is going to be checked and any bad sectors are going to be you know, blocked. 
So the choice is yours. I formatted this one as a quick format as an EX fat. And this one here, I'm now in the process of formatting this one. So we'll let it sit here for a few minutes while it's formatting and then we'll check it out. So there we go. <clears throat> All formatted. It took a while to do this. To format every single sector on here, but it's now verified that there are healthy primary partition. So now if I open up my computer, I'll see the new drive here called Cable Box 2, 140, 148 gigs free of 149. It's after formatting. So there it is. So that's what you can do with these old drives, <clears throat> even though they're formatted in a non-standard Windows format, it's easy to bring them back and now that it's a usable drive. Thanks for watching.